Albert invested an amount of Rs. 8000 in a fixed deposit scheme for two years at compound interest rate 5% per annum. How much amount will Albert get on maturity of the fixed deposit? So the amount that is invested is given which is the principal amount and that's 8000. So P is equals to 8000. And we have been given the time period for this investment that's two years. So N is equals to 2 and the rate of interest is 5% per annum. So the amount is equals to if the interest is compounded annually P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. So put in the data here P is equals to 8000 into 1 plus R is 5 upon 100 raised to 2. So 5 times 20 is 100. So we have 8000 times 20 plus 1. That's 21 by 20 square. So this is equals to 8000 times 21 square is 441 divided by 20 square is 400. So these zeros get cancelled out. We have 4 times 20 as 80. So 441 times 20. And that's 8820. And this is the amount. So we have our answer. Option B. 8820 is the amount. What will be the compound interest on a sum of Rs. 25,000 after 3 years at the rate of 12% per annum? Well, 25,000 is the principal, 3 is the number of years and the rate of interest is 12. So we have the formula for amount which is equals to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. So first we'll calculate the amount. So principal is 25,000 into 1 plus rate is 12 upon 100 raised to 3. Right. So this is equals to 25,000 times 100 plus 12, that's 112 upon 100 raised to 3. So this is equal to, now if you divide 112 by 4, you get 28. And 100 divided by 4 is 25. So this is basically 25,000 times 28 times 28 times 28 divided by 25 times 25 times 25. And that will be equals to this amount, 35,123.20. If you solve this, so we have the amount, we have the principal. We can find the compound interest. That's the amount minus principal. So we have 35,123.20 minus 25,000. So this is equals to 10,123.20. And that's the interest. So option C is the correct answer. Sam invested 15,000 rupees at the rate of 10% per annum for one year. If the interest is compounded half yearly, then what is the amount received by Sam at the end of the year? Now because the interest is compounded half yearly, there will be a slight change in the formula. The formula will be amount is equal to principal into 1 plus the rate will be halved. So R by 2 upon 100 raised to the time period will be doubled. So 2N. So therefore we have principal is 15,000 into 1 plus 10 by 2 upon 100 raised to 2 into N is actually 1 year. What is the amount received by Sam after the end of the year? So 2 times 1. So I have 15,000. 1 plus 10 by 2 is 5 by 100 raised to 2. So 5 times 20 is 100. So we have 15,000 times 20 times 1 plus 1. That's 21 by 20 square. So this is equals to 15,000 times 21 square is 441 by 20 square is 400. Cancelling out the zeros, I have 150 times 441 by 4. And that is equals to, if you solve it, you'll get 16,537.5.
So this is the amount that Sam will get after the end of the year. So the answer is option C. What is the difference between the compound interests on 5000 rupees for one and a half years at 4% per annum compounded yearly and half yearly? So you have two cases, interest compounded half yearly and interest compounded yearly. Let us first find out the interest compounded yearly. So we have the formula as amount is equals to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. So let's find out the amount first. So amount is equals to principal is 5000 into 1 plus R is 4 upon 100 raised to 1 and half. Right. Now this can be written as 5000 into 1 plus 4 upon 100 raised to 1 times 1 plus the fraction will be multiplied with the rate. So 1 plus 4 into 1 by 2 upon 100. Okay. So we have 5000 times that's if I divide 100 by 4 and 4 by 4 so that's 1 by 25. So 25 times 1 plus 1 that's 26 by 25 times you have 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 50 is 100. So you have 51 by 50. So 50 times 100 is 5000 and 25 times 4 is 100. So you have 4 times 26 times 51. So the amount is equals to 5304. This is the amount. Compound interest is equal to the amount minus the principal. That's 5304 minus 5000. That's 304. So we have found out the compound interest compounded yearly. Now it's the turn for calculating amount when the compound interest is compounded half yearly. So we have again amount is equals to principal that's 5000 into 1 plus. Now this is half yearly so the rate will be halved. So 4 by 2 is 2 upon 100 raised to the time period is doubled when the interest is compounded half yearly. So one and a half becomes three. So this is equals to 5,000 times, you can cancel this out, two times 50 is 100. So we have 51 by 50 cube, right? So when you solve this, you'll get 5,306.4 as the amount. So the compound interest will be 5,306.4 minus 5,000, that's 306.4. Now we have been asked the difference between the compound interest. So 306.4 minus 304.0 and that's 4, 2, 0 and this 0. So 2.4 is the difference. So we have option A as the correct answer.